The Greco-Bactrian kingdom rose from the Seleucid civil strife in the 3rd century BCE. Greco-Bactria was in a unique position. It straddled the Hellenistic and Eastern world and provided an unprecedented cultural melting pot for dynamic cross-cultural interaction. Material culture offers us a unique insight into this world. The silver drachm seems an example of Mediterranean coinage. It displays the diadem head of Euthydemus on the obverse and the nude Heracles with the words Basilios Euthydemoi of the King Euthydemos on the reverse. Heracles is a deity recognised by both Greek and Eastern peoples. It shows Euthydemus' projection of himself as being neither Holy Greek nor Bactrian. It was long thought that there was little cultural interaction between East and West. Yet a small dedication 150 kilometres west of the famous town of Iconium disputes this. Here lies the 3rd century Temple of Oxus. Iranian in style, it contains Greek influences such as Ionian column capitals. An altar with a bronze statue of the Saturn Marcius bears a votive inscription in Greek. Atrosokis dedicated this to Oxus in fulfilment of a vow. Here is Atrosokis, bearing the name of a Bactrian worshipper. His name probably means having the force of the deity of fire. He has written a Greek inscription to the local river god. This is not only a mixture, mixing of languages, but an intertwining of cultures to create a distinctly Greco-Bactrian identity. Atrosokis is worshipping old gods in new ways. Like Euthydemos, he is neither completely Greek nor completely other. The Greco-Bactria fell at the end of the 2nd century BCE. It left a legacy of joined cultures. Through its example, we see that we must not divide the ancient world into distinct areas, but allow for cultures to overlap and interact.